Oh! Hey, I was just watching the intro to Pokemon Emerald. Um, Pokemon as a whole is a franchise I hold very close to my heart, and it's one of the few things in this world that I am extremely knowledgeable on, which is kind of kind of sad. But nevertheless, I still love it, and despite most gripes I have with each generation, in fact, if you ask my overall opinion of each game, it'd probably come out more negative than positive, I still love the franchise. It's just so fun. But of course, I am a Pokemon fan, and that means I do have my favorite generation, one that I hold in highest regard compared to the rest. It's not Gen 5, it's not Gen 4, it's not Gen 2, nope. It is... Generation 3. I don't have the sticker. Generation 3, more specifically Ruby, as that is the version I own, is my favorite generation. I love the Pokemon in it, I love the sprites, I love the music, I love the locales, I just love this game for those reasons, and another reason I'll get into later. Another reason I love this generation in particular so much is because it fits extremely well into the criteria that I personally have for a Pokemon game, which is how fun is it to build a team, how fun is it to put together good movesets for said teams, and how fun is it to use those said team members with said movesets. Generation 3 fills this criteria I have extremely well. The Pokédex is plenty large, with 200 plus Pokémon being catchable, the level up moves most Mon learn serve each well, and the TM list provides a great many moves that can be taught to them, which is more than I can say about a, a, a certain other game. <coughs> <laughs> uh, uh, excuse me. And the game isn't insanely easy. I mean, it's still Pokemon, but it's not on the level of Gen 1, 2, 6, 7, or 8, for example. So it's also really fun to put these teams I build up against what Generation 3 has to offer in terms of its challenge. Everything I like in a Pokemon game just comes together in Gen 3 to create one of the best Pokemon experiences I've ever had. So, yeah, for all those reasons... I really love Gen 3, and you know what, this, that video, that title, it's not even, it's a lie, it's a, it's a facade, there's not gonna be a problem with Gen 3, it's the best one, it's simply perfect. Now, of course, it has been a while since I've played it, so let's just go through it all, enjoy every single second of it, and just soak it all in. There's gonna be no problem, sure. Jesus. There's too much water. Yes, the infamous too much water gripe from IGN review of Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire, a pretty shallow review, might I add, pun intended, is a point I actually agree with because she's right. The chick who reviewed that game is absolutely correct. It may be legit one of the worst reviews of a game I've ever seen, trying to cram a 20 plus hour RPG into a 3 minute review, but she nailed that water point head on. I'm surprised there's not water dripping out of my DS while I played this game. Honestly, the only reason this got made fun of so hard, despite being a valid point, is because seeing the sentence too much water in a list of cons of a game is really funny out of context, but if you take a second to actually think about it, it's more of a problem than you might think. Of the 227, yes I counted, obtainable Pokemon in Gen 3, 47 are water type. Now that does not sound that bad, but it really does add up. This leads to there being a power imbalance as well, with Pokemon that are good against water types being better, and ones that favor poorly against them obviously doing worse because they're just so common, especially in Sapphire. Yes, obviously Team Aqua is going to use water types, but this comes at the cost of a less diverse Pokédex and more battles feeling exactly the same. Another issue that stems from there being too much water is the amount of HMs it takes to traverse said water, there being four. HMs are stupid. There's no argument. There's literally none. It's a fact. Even if an HM move is good, like Surf or Strength, it's still dumb and Gen 3 makes it worse by having Surf, Waterfall, Dive, and Whirlpool all being HMs needed to traverse the Hoenn region. It's tedious, at best, having to go to the PC to get an HM user, surfing and diving are slow, 
there's so many roots of nothing but just water, which means every tile is a chance to encounter, you guessed it, a water type Pokemon. It also means without repels, you'll be running into them a lot. It also means an abundance of water trainers, which once again means nothing but water type Pokemon you'll be fighting. The final gym uses water type Pokemon. In Emerald, the champion uses water type Pokemon. Too much water means too many water type HMs, means too many water type Pokemon, means too much of the game is slow, tedious, and repetitive because of how much it relies on water. Remember that part in Gen 2 when you had to surf to Cianwood to get some medicine and a badge, and it was really slow and boring and visually uninteresting because it's just water? Yeah. That's a fourth of Hoenn! A fourth of this map is dominated by Agua. Imagine if a fourth of a Pokemon map was a cave. Be pretty annoying running into so many wild Pokemon of the same type, huh? Well, that's what Hoenn is! <clears throat> I'd be singing the same song if it was any other type that got this treatment. Too many desert areas would lead to too many ground and rock Pokemon, which would unnecessarily hinder or help other Pokemon in the game. Too many snowy areas would lead to too many ice Pokemon, which would unnecessarily hinder or help other Pokemon in the game. Do you see the point I'm trying to make here? Generation 3, having too much water is a legitimate issue, one that hurts the game more than you might think. Too much of one thing is most often a bad thing waiting to happen, and this design choice created a domino effect negatively affecting the game because of it. Imagine this, you're playing a Mario platformer, and half of the world was just the grass world. It'd feel samey, it'd get repetitive, you'd just be wishing for a change of scenery, and with Generation 3, the same applies. Because at the end of the day, there's too much water. Uh, yeah, it's uh... It's a bit of a mess, Gen 3 and, and, and water, you know, soaking wet, but at the end of the day, I still love it. I love this generation and I love this game. It's just fun. I just have fun while playing it and that other reason is a main factor. You see, a friend gave me this game and he's one of my greatest friends. He's someone I'll, I'll never forget. And it was just such a nice gesture. And it was also during a time where I was in high school, but I didn't like it at all. I, I hated high school so much. I hated having to learn things that I felt were so unnecessary and so useless to me because of the things I wanted to do. This, you know, when am I going to use Pythagorean theorem to talk about Ruby, you know? So I wasn't exactly the happiest when it came to school, but I had this, I had my friend who gave me this, I had a Game Boy Player, I had a tube TV, and every day after school, I would go upstairs, I would put Pokemon Ruby into the Game Boy Player, and I would just play it. I had a team, my one of my favorite teams I've ever constructed of any Pokemon game, I had the greatest moves. I crushed every trainer in front of me, I became the champion, and it felt special. Because it was Pokemon Ruby and Generation 2. So, for that reason, I dropped it. For that reason, I will always love this game. So with that all said, I'm Easily Easy, and I'll see you next time.